Alicia Johnson and Jake bringing you Central Campus News. Any student who is interested in enrolling in summer school should visit with the his, his or her counselor to complete registration. There's a boys basketball meeting on Tuesday at 255 in room 209. The meeting will be short and you will be able to get to your buses for practice or getting home. Contact Coach Wincheski if there's any, any issues. Any Minot High School student who wants to participate in the 2017 Magician Summer Strength Program may pick up any an information form sheet, sign up sheet in the main office. The cost of the program is $119. Students who are interested in taking the Alive 25 Defensive Driving course are asked to pick up information sheets in the main office. The course is Sunday at 1 o'clock p.m. to 5.30 p.m. at the North Coast Safety Council, 308 40th Avenue Northeast to Suite A. This course is approved for point reduction and insurance discounts. Students who are taking advanced English tenth next school year should attend a meeting on Wednesday to get the summer reading. Come to either the 7.45 a.m. meeting or the 3 p.m. meeting with Ms. Nelson and meeting in Ms. Nelson's room, room 311, to get your assignments. See Ms. Nelson or Mr. Gifford for any questions. The Minot High School Spring Fling is Thursday, May 11th at the Air Grass football field. Games start at 6 p.m. The dance is from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Tickets are $8 per person and are available in the Central Campus Finance Office. Remember to wear white for dance or die. Get creative and come have some fun at one of our last school wide events of the year. Happy birthday today to Gabriel Lays, Tori Rainey, Taney, and Alicia Johnson. Lunch today is taco in a bag, taco fixings, refried beans, salad bar, and milk. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Thanks for watching announcements and have a great day. Too much homework is a subject so many students would agree with. We have seven classes a day and for some students, they get homework in each one. That averages to at least one to two hours on homework. Yet, we're still expected to do 60 minutes of exercise, have a social life, have a job, and get at least eight hours of sleep each night. We are at school for seven hours. For those who do sports, that's another one to two hours. Then a job which can last up to six hours. Right there is 15 hours in a day, leaving nine hours for us to do homework, eat dinner, and visit with family. By the time all that is over, there's about six hours left, giving us six hours to sleep. Homework is definitely affecting how we do everything. Maybe some students do take it too far, saying we should have no homework, but they do make a good point. Although homework does help us in the long run, because we can't learn everything in class, teachers do take advantage of that and take it way too far, giving us five chapters to read and 50 math problems. With this homework, some of us need to learn to manage our time. Most teachers give time in class to complete the assignment, but some students choose to use that time to talk to their friends. That is a nice break during class, but maybe they could talk while helping each other. Nothing quite stresses out students about the beginning of the school year as the return to homework, which for many households means nightly battles centered around completing after-school assignments, which in a lot of cases is true. Younger students, such as elementary students, don't see the point as to why we have to do homework. Homework does come becomes quite stressful as the school year gets further and you move up another grade. Anybody who's tried to keep a five-year-old at a table doing homework for 25 minutes after school knows what it's like. I mean, kids don't want to be doing homework, they want to be out playing and that's what they should be doing. That's what's really important. The so-called 10-minute rule, which is 10 minutes per grade level per night, that translates into 10 minutes of homework in the first grade, 20 minutes in the second grade, all the way up to 120 minutes for senior year of high school. The NEA and NPTA do not endorse homework for kindergarten. For any students in advanced classes, the rule is most likely not true. If they actually spend time and do the homework correctly, all of their homework can get added up to three to four hours spent on it. And let's be honest, who wants to sit and do homework for more than 30 minutes? If that? The rule for homework goes for every night, whether it's a Friday night or a Wednesday night. Friday nights, Saturdays, and Sundays are for students to get away from school and homework. Kids use the weekends to hang out with their friends and not deal with school. It's also used for students that work. They can work most of the day on Saturdays and Sundays, but that also means most end up not doing the homework they were assigned. Homework increases academic achievement. Researchers argue that reviews on the link between homework and achievement often directly contradict one another and are so different in design that the findings of one study cannot be evaluated fairly against the finding of others. With 
Without excessive homework, students' test scores will not be internationally competitive. Researchers' information from, the, from international assessments show little relationship between the amount of homework students do and test scores. Students in Japan and Finland, for example, are assigned less homework but still outperform U.S. students on tests. Other studies find a positive relationship in math but not in reading. Those who question homework want to weaken curriculum and pander to students' laziness. Researchers Kralovec and Buell note that homework critics rarely question the work assigned, but rather the fact that the work is so often performed at home without adult supervision to aid the learning process. Even though most students dislike homework, it can help us in the long run. It can help us understand how to do work and gives us reasons to ask the teacher for help if we don't understand something.